Dear students, welcome to our class on JRF SRF Net 2022 General Knowledge Lecture 8. In this class, we try to understand most important bits with reference to development of agriculture. That is the fundamental or basics of agriculture. The first bit for today's class is Petro D. Crescent G. Petro D. Kressin G is regarded as a father of uh, agronomy. Okay, now the second bit is uh, agroastrology is a branch of science which deals with the study of grasses, their classification, management, and uh, utilization. India is the uh, most important uh, country in the world that had given the most important food crop india is uh, okay uh, is a contributor okay in asia okay uh, as a, a food provider through which crop it is a rice crop bits like this would come in uh, okay uh, general agriculture what is that uh, in punjab and uh, haryana okay in punjab and haryana uh, which is a commercial crop and uh, which is a which is not a commercial crop but a substitute crop in Orissa, say for example. It is rice. So, as far as rice is concerned in India, rice, you please refer to my book, uh, uh, um, Principles and Practices of Agricultural Disaster Management. There I had given 40 pages about the rice crop. Wonderful information was given there. Why I am telling it from the bits point of view? This is the bit. India provides. India is the base. India is the foundation for rice crop. So it contributes an enormous amount of food security to the world. That bit may come in any form. That's why I have taken a minute to explain this one. Now next bit is um, India's most important contributions to the world agriculture is rice, then followed by sugarcane, a number of legumes and tropical fruit trees like mango. Indian agriculture is a predominantly subsistence type. This bit will come. Indian agriculture is a predominantly subsistence type. What is subsistence? I have given in the uh, earlier uh, generalology. Now, the scientific agriculture began in India when sugarcane, cotton and tobacco were grown for export purpose. Scientific agriculture started in India with, okay, when sugarcane, cotton and tobacco were grown for export purposes. Now, some important events in the history of agriculture in general, in the important events in the history of agriculture that you should remember, you must remember because, because and because. In the assertion and reasoning type, these are the bits that would appear. That's why now 8700 BC domestication of sheep, S H E E P, sheep. 7700 BC domestication of goat. 7500 BC cultivation of crop, wheat and barley. 6000 BC domestication of cattle and pigs. 4400 BC cultivation of maize 3500 bc cultivation of potatoes 3400 bc okay a wheel was invented wheel was invented 2900 bc plow was invented 2200 bc cultivation of rice 1800 bc cultivation of finger millet 1725 bc cultivation of sorghum 1500 BC cultivation of sugarcane irrigation from wells was used. 1400 BC use of iron. 15th century AD cultivation of sweet orange, sour orange, wild brinjal, pomegranate, and most importantly in the 16th century AD introduction of crops into India by Portuguese people has taken. This is the very 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 simple and brief history of uh, okay, important events in. Uh, the history of agriculture as far as uh, uh, our uh, uh, nations are concerned so here from here we try to or try we try to understand 
Van Helmont, H E L M O N T, V A N Van Helmont. Uh, okay, uh, he lived between 1577 and 1644 AD. Now he claimed that. Uh, Plants require only water to grow and concluded that the main principle of vegetation is water. He said water is the main principle of vegetation. Who? Van Helmont, however. Francis Bacon stated that water was the principle nourishment for plants. Principle nourishment for plants. This is the difference between Van Helmont and Francis Bacon. F-R-A-N-C-I-S. B A C O N. Now let us go to what was said by Gluber. G L A U B E R. Gluber. He claimed that plants needed only salt, pepper, potassium nitrate to grow. Salt, pepper. That is potassium nitrate to grow. Who? Uh, Gluber. G L A U B E R. Jitro to suggested that the plant roots directly absorb. Okay. Uh, uh, absorb soil particles. Plant roots directly absorb. This is what uh, was found. He also, Yathro Thul, uh, conducted experiments on cultural practices. He developed a seed drill and also horse-drawn cultivator. So, in the first year, as soon as you enter into agriculture college, Yathro Thul, okay? So, he is the inventor of a plow. He is the inventor of a horse-drawn cultivator. But what is not taught to you there is uh, his Jethro Dhul suggested that plant roots directly above soil moisture. So that's what. Okay. Jethro Dhul published a book, Horse Hoeing Husbandry. Jethro Dhul, J E T H R O, Jethro Dhul, T U L L Dhul. Okay. Published a book, Horse Hoeing Husbandry. Now, Okay, Bussingalt, okay, first uh, st stated that uh, plants de derive carbon from the air. Carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates. So, so who was the first one? So, Bussingalt, B-U-B-O-U-S-S-I-N-G-A-U-L-T. Now, here comes an important, uh, most important or wonderful scientist, uh, Liebig, L-I-E-B-I-G, Liebig is regarded as the founder of uh, modern agricultural chemistry and uh, enunciator of law of uh, minimum in the year 1843. See, Liebig law of minimum, 1843. So, uh, uh, this is what is uh, almost beginning of uh, a very found, a very good uh, or very sound uh, scientific agriculture. Now, uh, Arthur Eng, okay, Arthur Eng, he conducted pot culture experiments. He published his book in 46 volume, 46, 46 volume as uh, Annals of uh, Agriculture. Most wonderful uh, books that you will find, Annals of Agriculture. In 1837, so Laves, L-A-W-E-S, Laves began to experiment on the effect of menus on the crop. He started to understand scientifically the effect of menus on the crops. Who? It is uh, Laves, L-A-W-E-S, Laves. Now, in the year 1842, Laves uh, patented a process of uh, treating okay, phosphate crop to produce uh, superphosphate and thus initiated the synthetic fertilizer industry in which year who 1842 la west okay world's oldest permanent field experiment is located at the rothamsted agricultural experimental station uk so as an agricultural scientist i wish you should go to rothamsted and see the oldest okay maintained oldest maintained okay uh, agricultural experiment that is a field experiment it is in Rothamsted UK now while Nine a virologist first discovered field scale zinc deficiency in India Panthanagar I am very fortunate Dr. Vyal Nine sir had written forward to my book Agriculture Heritage a course which was introduced in the 15th Company in the year 2016 so I was very fortunate to have his foreword to my book, uh, okay, what is that? Agricultural Heritage. Okay, it's very, very nominal price, around a dollar or one and a half dollar. So it's a good book, 
to know the history of agriculture i have given good information there so uh, in addition to subscribing to my channel agrometrology farmers and rural government whenever you find time to know the history of indian agriculture just have a class agriculture history i have given very very simple in a very simple way okay now uh okay mendel let us talk about mendel he discovered loss of uh, heredity in the year 1866 loss of heredity mendel's loss of heredity and uh, charles darwin darwin charles darwin okay uh, he had conducted experiments on uh, cross and self pollination in plants and uh, hola w h o l e r first synthesized urea in the year 1928 one nine two eight whole uh, or whole year in 1870 a joint uh, department of agriculture revenue and commerce were established in india in the year 1905 imperial uh, this bit will come usually in the year 1905 imperial agriculture research institute was started at uh, posa bihar in the year 1905 imperial had become Indian after a devastating earthquake in the year 1936. Okay, it is shifted in the name of Imperial only after independence. It had become Indian Agricultural Research Institute. That's what. Okay, it is shifted in the year 1936. In 1912, Sugarcane Breeding Institute was established in Coimbatore. That is the only place, almost okay, where the sugarcane flowers flowering you will find agricultural universities were started and f- started functioning from the year 1964 uh, in india so from here if you see the history there are uh, so many uh, developments uh, as of today now let us try to understand few international institutions uh, which are of uh, very very significant contribution few of them we try to understand other things are available in any book of uh, okay uh, general knowledge of agriculture number one bit cgiar cgiar consultative group of uh, international agricultural research the uh, headquarters are washington usa so uh, from here we start uh, ciat international center for tropical agriculture international center for uh, tropical agriculture it is located at colombia south america uh simmit c i m m y t simmit it is located in mexico okay what exact international center for the improvement of maize and wheat maize and wheat simmit now fao food and agricultural organization rome italy icarda i c a r d a icarda we call it as international Center for Agriculture Research in the Dry Areas, uh, Aleppo, Syria. Uh, ICRAF, I-C-R-A-F, uh, International Center for Research in Agroforestry, Nairobi, Kenya. ICRISAT, International Crop Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics. Uh, it is located at the Patan Sheru, uh, Hyderabad, Telangana. IFDC International Fertilizer Development Center Alabama USA United States of America IITA IITA International Institute of Tropical Agriculture okay uh, Edaban Nigeria okay uh, and the thing ILR International Livestock Research Institute Nairobi Kenya WMO World Meteorological Organization Geneva Switzerland Uh, CAJRI, CAJRI. Now, so first few international institutions uh, we tried to understand starting from CGIAR to World Meteorological Organization. In addition to these institutions, uh, several institutions are there, like uh, IRRI, International Rice Research Institute, in Manila, Philippines. Okay, please try to remember. But uh, uh, you, these are the most common bits uh, that would be appearing in your uh, JR SRF net. That's why. So I have uh, segregated these from the international institutions. From now on, what you know, for a minute or two, we try to understand uh, national institutes uh, as far as India is concerned. CAJRI, Central Arid Zone Research Institute, Jodhpur, Rajasthan. CFTRI, Central Food Technological Research Institute, Mysore, uh, Karnataka. 
so if we start from here so let us go to some more most important uh, institutes related to agriculture central institute for cotton research nagpur maharashtra uh, ciwa central institute for women in agriculture bhuvneshwar odisha cppta central plant production training institute uh, hyderabad telangana uh, krida central research institute for uh, dry land agriculture santosh nagar hyderabad telangana uh, krizaf cri jaf central research institute for jute and allied fibers uh, barakpur west bengal cssra central soil serenity research institute karna haryana ctcra central tuber crop research institute tiruvananthapuram kerala ctra central tobacco research institute rajamandri andhra pradesh FRI Forest Research Institute Dehradun Uttarakhand IGFRI usually this question is asked IGFRI Indian Grassland and Fodder Research Institute Jhansi Uttar Pradesh IIFSR Indian Institute of Farming System Research Modipuram it is in UP IIMR there are two IIMRs number one IIMR is uh, Indian Institute of Maize Research Ludhiana Punjab Indian Institute of Millets Research that is located in Hyderabad Rajendranagar Telangana once again for your academic interest IIMRs are two Indian Institute of Maize Research Ludhiana Punjab Indian Institute of Millets Research uh, that is located in uh, Rajendranagar Hyderabad Telangana Uh, IIOPR Indian Institute of Oil Palm Research Pedavegi West Godavari in Andhra Pradesh there is uh, another IIOR there is no P here what is IIOR Indian Institute of Oil Fields Research Rajendranagar Hyderabad Telangana uh, just two or three more bits in this class uh, IIPR Indian Institute of Pulses Research Kanpur Uttar Pradesh I I R R Indian Institute of Rice Research Rajendranagar Hyderabad Telangana I I S R Indian Institute of Seed Research M A U Ma Uttar Pradesh I I S R Indian Institute of Sugar Cane Research uh, Lucknow Uttar Pradesh Manage National Institute of Agricultural Extension Management Rajendranagar Hyderabad Telangana NARM National Academy of Agricultural Research Management Rajendranagar Hyderabad Telangana last bit uh, as far as indian institutes are concerned uh, i would like to share with you uh, this uh, nrri national rice research institute kadak odisha kadak odisha so these are the fundamental bits uh, memory type bits that would appear in assertion and reasoning type or match the following type because because and because you should uh, there are some questions that are given which decide the ranking in such thing memory type bits are given with uh, your uh, reasoning uh, answers so thanking you very much for your very patient hearing